Hello everyone, it's Dmitry. And today I'm happy to show you our new convex attachment for 8mm shaft of our sharpening system KO3. Today we are going to use it to resharpen a knife that has a classic V-shaped sharpening and make it a convex one. And to see how this knife will cut through the wood, watch this video until the end. Let's go! Now this knife literally does nothing. Convex attachment TS Prof Ultra 8mm consists of two parts, aviation grade aluminum body and two brass drums. To assemble KL3 with this attachment, first we have to disassemble this shaft, then we turn it around put the shaft into the opening inside the attachment and then we use a 2 mm hex screwdriver to tighten the screw. Then we insert the second half of the shaft and tighten the screw. Today we are going to resharpen this knife made of slate and steel from classic V-shape into the convex. And to do that, we will use our Stones MS1. We are going to start with a stone 100 slash 80. And now we have to set the angular difference. TS Prof Ultra allows you to set any kind of angular difference from 0 to 90 degrees, but now we will set a difference in angles around 10 degrees. To do that, we have to make several manipulations by loosening and tightening again the locking screw on the attachment. Some of you might ask why we use two brass drums on this convex attachment. It was done on purpose because otherwise, due to the configuration of the sharpening system, you won't be able to reach the minimum angle during the sharpening. Your attachment will simply hit the body of the turning mechanism. Now we need to set the angular difference of 10 degrees. Uh, right now I almost caught the right difference in angles, but I need to adjust the attachment just a little bit. So now it's 10.7 versus 20.7. Perfect. Once we set the angular difference, we have to limit the movement of the shaft. To do that, we set our stoppers into position. And now we have to set the angle of sharpening. Once again, I remind you that the down position of the stone sets the angle of sharpening of the cutting edge and the top position of the stone will set the angle for the top border of the bevel and of course this angular difference will limit the width of the convex bevel that we will have in the end. So now let's set the angle for the cutting edge, it's gonna be 20 degrees. As you may see, I actually had to change the positioning of the knife because otherwise I couldn't reach the angle I wanted to use without touching the clamps with the stone. So let's begin. It was just the beginning, but I'm feeling a bit exhausted because this part was the toughest one. I managed to change the shape of the bevel. Right now we have a convex on both sides. And I may finally change the stone from 100 slash 80 to the next one. 50 slash 40. Today we will sharpen this knife with four stones. It's gonna be enough because this kind of knife needs aggression of the cut, which means that we won't go below 7 slash 5. Now let's move to the next step. The next stone will be 20 slash 14. Now this knife will start to shine. If some of you don't remember why we are making convex, just a brief reminder for you that this kind of sharpening holds better against lateral loads. When we want to cut 
through wood or something hard, we need the knife to be tough. Well, let's proceed. Now it's time for the last stone and it's going to be a 7.5. I hope it's going to be enough to make a good finish on the bevel. I want it to look better than the previous one because previous one was shiny, the cut was clean. Well, actually this stone is not the best of my collection, but still, let's hope for the best. Some of you might ask, why do I need this attachment instead of the standard one? Well, you see, when you want to have more options, when you need to select the width of the convex bevel, when you want to reshape your knife, give it a bit more thickness of the area near the cutting edge, well, in some cases, the geometry of the knife could be very complex to be sharpened with the standard attachment and by selecting different angular differences, you may set the width of the convex bevel. So it's pretty convenient. Okay, now when we've done with the bevel, let's get to removal of the burr. To do that, I want to set the angular difference to zero. So now, small manipulations with our convex attachment. Let's check what we have. So now we've increased the angle just a bit to remove the burr along the whole cutting edge for sure. And let's start the removal. Okay, now you can estimate the result of the work we did today. To my opinion, it looks good. I wouldn't call it awful. And now let's make a test how it will handle the piece of wood that we tried previously. If you ask me, do you need this kind of attachment or not? I would say it's always up to you. But if you are a fan of bushcraft, if you want a knife that will be sharp even after handling th something like this, well, you know, this works good, this looks good, and thanks to this kind of stuff, it is achievable for all of you. So don't forget to press like, subscribe to our channel, this will help us a lot. Don't forget to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time.